guys, and welcome to TGM the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about or play games and, and to ugh, today we're gonna be playing Super Mario Bros. Um, today's the 35th anniversary of the Super Mario games, or at least this game. So we're just gonna be go ahead. We're just gonna go ahead and play this game because it's a pretty good game. Like the graphics, of course, it came out in 1985, so of course the graphics don't hold up as well, but it still looks pretty good. Anyways, while I was just talking, we already beat the first level, so that's pretty cool. I will be using warp zones, so yeah, this will be a pretty short video. If you don't know what warp zones are, they're basically just warp pipes that allow you to get to different worlds from one world to another. So now we're at world two. And this one is pretty easy. The first one was pretty easy, and this one is still pretty easy. Once we get to World 8 and stuff like that, it starts getting pretty hard. The item that I just picked up there was the f Fire Flower, and that allows us to shoot fire out of our hands. There are, of course, some enemies that are immune to fireballs, but even enemies like King Koopa die if you hit him with enough fireballs. A cool little easter egg that you can see is if in worlds 1 through 7, if you kill the Bowser there with fireballs, you can see that they turn into a different enemy. That's because all of those Bowsers are fake Bowsers, and that actually becomes a thing in Super Mario 3D Land as well. That's a pretty cool callback that they do. The guy that's currently throwing spinies at us, his name is Lakitu, and he can get pretty annoying at some points, especially in 8-2 where he returns, but now we just beat 4-1. So yeah, we won't have to deal with him for another couple levels. Now we're in 4-2, another underground level. This one has a bit more tricky platforming, so we'll just have to get past that. We have a couple Goombas in this... I don't know if it's exactly a hallway, but it's just this short little area that we just walked through. My birthday was yesterday, by the way, I forgot to mention that, but I got a bunch of cool stuff like Mario plus Rabbids and a couple of books, and I also got 3D All-Stars, the Super Mario game that has 64, Sunshine, and Galaxy. So if you guys want to see me play that or any other Switch games that I have, then go ahead and just leave a comment or leave a like on this video, wh whatever you want to do. So now we're in World 8, and this is where it starts to get pretty tough. It has Buzzy Beetles, which are immune to Fire Flower things. I don't know why I'm not good at talking this episode, but it's weird that one of Bowser's minions is immune to Fireballs, but he isn't. I'm gonna run along the top here and just jump past that whole thing. Paratroopers can be pretty annoying in these segments where there's a lot of tight platforming. Quickly run up these stairs and that buzzy beetle almost hit me. You have to make, make that very tight jump, which is... It's killed me a lot of times in the past, but thankfully it didn't get me there. And that was 8-1. Now it's time to move on to 8-2 with the return of Lakitu. You'll see him in just a second. I think this is the first, like, second level that we've seen that's not an underground level. Like, of course there are, like, other second levels in the game, but in terms of just, like, this sort of warp zone route that we've been doing, this is the first time we've seen one of these. We'll jump on him to get rid of him so we don't have to deal with him for the rest of the level and just run under this. 
Those paratroopers can definitely mess you up if you're not careful. Also, I, I want myself to, like, count how many bullet bills there are. Because there are a lot- dang it. There are a lot of bullet bill shooters, or whatever they're called. So it seems like we're gonna have to go through the rest of the game as Little Mario, because I died there and there's no other place where we can get the mushrooms or the fire flowers or anything like that. But you just saw it, there's so many of them. Crud. That was my fault, I jumped into him when I shouldn't have. I might actually get a game over, and if I do, I'll have to show you guys this cool secret. Black 2 leaves you alone after a while, so even if you don't kill him at the start, if you just get past- if you get to the bullet bill section, then he'll stop annoying you. I'm gonna wait for him to go down. And I finally got over. I have three paratroopers. This can get pretty hectic at points, but eventually they'll just fall into that pit there. And I'm pretty sure this is the end. We just need to get up these stairs. And we beat that level, so now it's time to go to what or eight dash three. Sorry, uh, and this is probably one of my least favorite levels in the entire game because it has so many hammer bros, and they just—they're probably one of my least favorite enemies of all time. Because I, of course, like like a challenge. I don't know why I said like twice there. I enjoy a challenge. It's just that when it's overly hard, it just gets to a point where it's super annoying. I think that's the reason why I don't like the lost levels, is because, you know, like, the first couple of levels is fine, but then it just gets to a point where there's the wind mechanic and, you know, there are backwards warps, which I don't even want to get into. But yeah, now it's time to move on to the final level of the game. It's a, uh, castle level. So, it's gonna be pretty tough. Gonna hop down here, and you have to choose which pipe is the correct pipe to go down. So, the first pipe is across this lava pit, right here. The next pipe you want to go down is across another, another lava pit, right next to these paratroopers. Oh, crud. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a game over. Across the lava pit. Down the pipe. Do the same thing over here. Now Cheap Chiefs will start flying out of the ground, so you have to avoid them. You have to go across another lava pit to get to the pipe. And now we're in an underwater segment. You want to kind of stay near the bottom for this one, because they can't hit you if you're small and you're just walking along the bottom, then they shouldn't be able to hit you. Over the fire, for the hammer bro, across the lava pit. And we won! You just have to hit the axe and then Bowser falls into the lava, or King Koopa I should say. He wasn't known, known as Bowser until later games. But yeah, we saved Princess Peach. And there's a bit of text on screen. You can go through different levels in a hard mode if you want, but that's just going to be where we end the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're probably going to be playing another game like Portal 2 or something like that, but I just hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye